We want to turn to a story now that is quite an accomplishment. Vice Admiral Michelle Howard is the first female appointed to a four star post. She is now Vice Chief of U.S. Naval Operations, the service's number two ranking officer. Kristen Fisher has more on this very historic event. My goodness. Vice Admiral Michelle Howard has achieved many firsts during her 32 years in the Navy. She was one of the first women to attend the Naval Academy, the first African-American woman to command a ship, and today she became the Navy's first female four-star admiral. If you don't believe today was a first, when I called to order four-star shoulder boards for women, they didn't exist. <laughs> a special contract was let, and you folks are seeing the first set in the history of the United States Navy. She will bear the burden of a role model, and she is ready to bear that very well. And I'm very excited about that because we need lots more women in the Navy. At today's ceremony at Arlington Cemetery, Admiral Jonathan Greenert said he had no question she was the right person for the job. She was at the Pentagon on 9-11, and in 2009, she had just become the head of a Navy strike force in the Arabian Sea when a soon-to-be well-known American sea captain was captured by Somali pirates. Uh, it was about three days into the job when we got word that Captain Phillips had been kidnapped. Howard is now the Navy's second highest ranking officer. There's no news here. The Navy picked the best officer to be the VCNO. That's the only thing that happened here today. My rank today lets them know that they can go from uh, junior enlisted to Mikon of the Navy or from ensign to Admiral. Howard now joins just two other women to ever reach the four star rank one in the Army, the other in the Air Force. Kristen Fisher, ABC News, Washington.